of the circus. For Jerry of the Circus. There he is, Ray. Oh, Mr. Randall. Hey, wait a minute, Mr. Randall. Oh, well, what's the matter, Jerry? I just heard something I think you should know. Oh, well, uh, you want to step into the wagon? No, I can tell you here. All right. Well, what is it, Jerry? Well, I just heard one of the roustabouts tell Gus. Uh, he's one of the canvas. Yes, men. yes, I know Gus. Well, this fellow told Gus they were going to have another meeting. Oh, you, uh, you mean the striker? Uh-huh. Uh, did he say when? Yeah, he said in about ten minutes. And they're all going to meet out in back of the horse stock. Mm. Yeah. So they're still talking it over, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Well, thanks for telling me, Jerry. Are you going to go over and see what they have to say? Yes, I think I will. Maybe if you talk to them again, they'll no, be different. No, no, no. I, I think I've said enough. I'll, I'll let them figure it out for themselves. It sure is a shame. Everything was going along so nice, and then Gabby had to start talking and start all this trouble. Yes, yes, it's not so good, Jerry. This strike is hurting business. <laughs> Hey, look at it. Here comes Patsy and Bob. Yeah. <laughs> look at that grin on Patsy's face. <laughs> she's certainly excited about something. Yeah, and she's walking so fast, Bumps can hardly keep up with her. <laughs> well, Patsy, well, what's the big smile for? Hey, you sure seem happy. <laughs> I'll say I'm happy. I got a Mr. Randall just now. It came special wait, delivery. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Patsy. Not so fast. You got well, what? Say, I thought you asked me to walk over to the office wagon, will you? <laughs> Seems like you don't know the difference between walking and running, young lady. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bums. I didn't realize I hit such a good pace. Well, come on. Tell us what it is. Mr. Randall asked you, Patsy. Oh, I am excited. It's my check, Mr. Randall. Your check? You mean the money from your godmother? Uh -huh. You got it from the lawyer? That's it. Well, isn't that grand, Sam? Well, I'll say it is. Congratulations, Patsy. Uh, are you busy, Mr. Randall? Uh, busy? busy? Uh, oh, no, no. Not for a few minutes. Why? Well, this check is for a lot of money. and At least it's a lot to me. Oh, and... you want me to put it in my safe? Yes, that's one thing. And... Well, I was going to ask your advice about uh, about what to do with it. Oh, well, I'll be glad to help you, Patsy, but as far as the check goes, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it doesn't endorse, of course. I'll, I'll put it in the safe right after dinner. You're not forgetting about what I told you, are you, Mr. Randall? No, no, indeed I'm not, oh, Jerry. Well, more secrets with the boss, huh, Jerry? Well, I tried, Bumps. Well, then you are busy. Well, yes, yes, in a way. I, I've got to go out in the back lot to attend or something, but... Well, come on along. We can talk as we walk over that way. All right. Bumps and I will walk on ahead. Yes. Come on, Ray. All right, all right. Go ahead, Jerry. Uh, I'm so thrilled. I can hardly talk. Well, I should think you would be. <laughs> Not everybody has a pot of gold dropped right in their lap like this. Uh, how much does it amount to, Patsy? I can hardly believe it, but it's $20,000. Well. That's what it came to after the taxes and the attorney's fees were deducted. Uh, I'd say that's a lot of money. <laughs> I had no idea you were getting that much. I, I was wondering if you'd sort of help me, Mr. Randall. Mm -hmm. You see, I want to put the money where it will be absolutely safe. Uh, well, yes, of course you do, and you, you want to get some interest. Uh-huh. Well, Fancy, uh, I'd suggest an annuity. Uh, annuity? Yeah, yeah I, I think that's your best bet. Is that sort of, uh, well, it's, it's like insurance, isn't it? That's right. You see, uh, with an annuity, Patsy, you'll get an income from your money as long as you live. Oh, that sounds very good, Mr. Randall. Mm -hmm. It's a good plan for several reasons. You know, Patsy, it's a funny thing, but uh, just as soon as a person gets a nice sum of money, someone always comes along to try to get it away from them. Uh-huh. 
Fast talkers appear and present all sorts of pretty pictures of good investments. Yeah, but most of them just tricks. That's right. Will you show me how to go about getting this uh, annuity? You bet I will. You just drop over to the office wagon any time, and we'll figure out the very best plan for you. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Randall. Not at all, Patsy. I'm glad you came to me first. I knew you'd want me to do the safest thing with the money. You bet. I can't have my star aerialist losing all her wealth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, aren't you through talking yeah, business yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All finished, Jerry. <laughs> well, you two must have a big deal on. <laughs> I finance, Bunk. Uh, did you manage to get some of her money away from her, Sam? Oh, you bet I did. I, I talked her out of the whole amount. She's she's going to invest it in one of my paraffin mines in the South Sea. Uh, go on, paraffin doesn't come from mine. <laughs> uh, well, you'll have to excuse me now. Uh, you coming with me, Jerry? Yeah, I'd like to. Then I'll run along. And, and thanks again, Mr. Randall. Okay, Patsy. Okay. Bye. See you all later. Goodbye, Bye. Patsy. <laughs> well, uh, can I be any help, Sam? No, I don't think so, Bumps. Thanks just the same. Jerry and I are just going to sit in at one of the strikers' meetings. Oh, I see. Uh, will you take Rags with you, Bumps? Oh, sure, Jerry. Come on, fella. <laughs> no, you're coming with me this time. Most likely to see you at dinner time, Bumps. Yes, yeah, Sam. And good luck. I hope you work out something with those strikers. Uh, this way, Mr. Randall. They're meeting out in back of the horse top. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, then let's walk through the horse top. It's uh, quicker than walking around. Okay. Say, uh, Jerry, did that fella have any more to say? Uh-uh. Just what I told you, that they're holding another meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, right through here. All right. Yeah. Oh, I would say there, there's your old pal, Jerry. Hiya, Whitey. Uh, hello. Hello, Whitey. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Randall. Mm. Well, looks like you've got quite a gathering out back, doesn't it? Yep, yep, those strikers are still wrangling. Uh, you going out and taking the meeting? Mm -hmm. uh, good for you, Mr. Randall. You know, i never seen the likes of such carrying on as they're doing. They ought to be ashamed of themselves asking for a better deal than they're getting from you. I'll say they should. Yeah, they're a nervy lot. Why, do you know, they, they even came around to some of my men and tried to get them to go out on strike, too. They did, huh? Uh, I knew they'd been around to the guards and the menagerie. Yeah, but my boys wouldn't have nothing to do with any of their ideas. Oh, uh, good. Come on, Mr. Randall. They're starting to talk. Uh, okay, Jerry. Well, see you later, Whitey. You bet, Mr. Randall. Can you imagine that? What? Those strikers are trying to get the hostlers to strike, too. Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise me. Of all the nerves. Oh, oh, say, look, Jerry. There they are. And it looks like there's more this time than they had at the last meeting. Mm -hmm. hey, uh, maybe we'd better stay right here. Why? Well, we can hear them all right from here. Oh, not in your life, Jerry. I'm going right over there among them. You are? Sure thing. Hey, Uh-oh, they see you. Uh, that's all right, men. Go right ahead with your meeting. You bet we will, you're invited to listen to what we have to say. All right, Gabby, but uh, before you start, I'd like to put a little foreword in. I'll have to see about that. How about it, fellas? Do you want to hear from Mr. Randall? Okay, quiet. Okay, Mr. Randall, okay. See you a little piece. Pipe down, you guys, and let the boss talk. Go ahead, boss. Well, there's just this much to be said, men. Uh, I'm not being stubborn about your demands. I'm only trying to be reasonable, and uh, I want you to be reasonable, too. I know you're important to the circus, just as important as the performers or the, or the stop acts or any other department. But I, I do believe I'm giving you all a square deal. You're getting just as much, if not more, than you'd get from any other outfit in the business. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> right, John, let the boss finish. He's entitled to say what he wants to say. Well, the, the extra work you did after the cyclone hit us was an emergency. Sure, you worked overtime, but what do you think I was doing? Well, I'll tell you. I was working overtime, too, night and day. Why? To keep the show going, to keep your jobs for you and not have to throw all my people out of work. Another thing, I work for a salary the same as you do, but I haven't drawn one cent of pay since the cyclone. Oh, yeah. Hey, let the boss finish. Come on. Well, uh, that's, that's all I have to say, men. Now, how about getting back in your jobs? We'll, we'll forget the whole thing and there'll be no hard feelings. What do you say? Hey, let me talk now. I'll do the talking now. Hey, I wish you'd let me talk once. Hey, let's hear what Danny's got to say. If I wanted to say something yeah, right okay, along. Okay, let's hear what's on your mind, Danny. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. all right, Danny, go ahead. Well, in the first place, Gabby here starts us all to thinking we should have get extra dough for working overtime when we had that cyclone. Yeah, that's right. So what? Well, if we'd have stopped and done a little thinking of our own, we'd have been better off. Oh, yeah? What are you driving at? Just this, Gabby. If we didn't all pitch in and work hard and get the show out on the road again, we wouldn't have any job at all. Didn't any of you guys think of that? Yeah, you got something there, Danny. Yeah, uh, sure I have. And Mr. Randall's right. We're getting a square deal from him. We get good food and lots of it. Our job's steady. 
Most of us know when we can get back to work for the outfit year after year, and it's a pretty good setup. Yeah, where'd we go to work if we didn't work for Randall? Yeah, yeah right well, right. what do you got to say to that argument, Gabby? Well, let's see now, I... Yeah, you ain't got no answer. For once, you ain't so Gabby. And he's right, that's why. Now, listen, you wait a minute. You guys listen to me. I'm going to tell you something you didn't know. All right, go ahead. In the first place, this strike wasn't my idea. What? You said it was. I know I did. But after the thing got started, I began to think like Danny here. We ain't got such bad jobs at that. Well, then why didn't you call the thing off? I figured it was too late then. Did you hear that, Mr. Randall? Yeah, Jerry. This is getting interesting. There was another guy behind this strike idea. I thought he was Forrest when he told me how to plan the strike. But I see now there must have been another reason. He had a reason for starting this thing. Now, who is this guy? Never mind. Just leave him to me. I want them all to myself, and I'm going to go get them right now. When I get through with them, I'll bet he won't get any more funny ideas about making you guys and me the goat. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry this thing has caused you so much trouble, Mr. Randall. Well, that's all right, Gabby. I, I said there'd be no hard feelings. Then let's all get back on the job. Right, right, right. Come on, Jay. Where's for you 100%, Mr. Randall? Say, Gabby. Gabby. Excuse me, Mr. Randall. I got some unfinished business to take care of. What do you know about that? Trying to make a monkey out of me, was he? Yeah. He had some other idea. He wanted to start that strike for a reason. I don't care what it was, but he won't be getting no more ideas. Uh, wise guy, huh? Well, I'll take care of him. He figured he'd get the benefit of that strike. And me, the fellas out there, we'd take the rap. Well, I'll fix him. You in there, Boris? Go me. Hey, hey, what's the idea? You know you shouldn't be seen in my wagon. Oh, yeah? So you're the wise guy that wanted to make a sap out of me, huh? I don't know what you're talking about, Gabby. No? Well, you had a reason. A reason for your own for wanting me to start that strike. I don't know what it was, and I don't care. But guys like you need a little taming. Oh, now, now take it easy, Gabby. I've elected myself to teach you a lesson. One that you won't forget so quick. Uh, uh, sit down and we'll talk this over, Gabby. I'm, I'm sure you have made a big mistake. No, you're the guy that made the mistake. And you're going to pay for that mistake right now. How's it? Oh, oh, hey. oh, Gabby, what's the idea? By the time you can see out of that eye, maybe you'll be able to see that it doesn't pay to fool around with me.